expansion of your presence beyond boundaries expansion of your life beyond limitation of birth and death when such a evolutionary process happens then you are gifted to be with the truth it all depends on the way you look at the creation we all are continuously in the journey of the truth namaste i welcome you all for today's satsang in today's satsang we will have a look at the journey of life what is this life why we are born here and what's the journey about in life when we see the life from superficial angle it appears it's so complex made up of so many things so many happenings this view what we have creates the complexity orientation what i mean by complexity orientation is life is actually very simple in life there is no pain no suffering nothing is there what ever may be the outside situation but for your journey in the self expression in fact there is no pain no suffering nothing is there when nothing such thing is there why it appears life is so heavy so burden so worryful so many implication so complex mainly because our mind has oriented itself in the dimension of complexity of the mind we have lost the view or a vision to look at life from a simple simplicity see life has every possibility in it if you wish to have a simple look at it it appears as simple if you wish to have a complex look at it it will have a complex orientation like that in whatever the way you wish to align to life in that dimension you can align to life because life is complete and life is complete in every dimension of it it is complete in complexity it is complete in simplicity it is complete in everything it's complete in nothing in this way if you go on analyzing understanding life it has a place for everything even with any situation you can look at life in whatever the angle you wish that depends on your own mind that's how such a complexity possibility is also there such a simple possibility is also there and such an every possibility is also there it's all depends on how you wish to look are you trying to look from a society conditioning are you trying to look from your own karmic imprints or are you trying to look from your educational background are you trying to look 
from your own standards of morals, ethics and all those things, it depends on purely in the way you want to look like that life appears. When such is the situation of life, then why we have a tendency to constantly align to the complexity of life? I will give you one hint in this session which will help you to understand life from its basics. From its basics in the sense, suppose if we wish to understand the colors what exists in this creation, it appears so complex. Even if you consider green, light green, dark green, bottle green, like this hundreds of varieties of green is there, hundred varieties of blue is there, red is there, combination is there. Like that this whole creation is with full of millions of colors and it is infinite combination. There is no end for color. So it appears so complex. But all this complexity of the color, from where it originates? It originates from no color. It originates from one thing. So from one, many. So there is a spectrum. So even that one thing is also not there at the creative level. Meaning no color, one color, basic three colors, then seven colors, then millions of colors. Where you wish to align to this spectrum of expression of the color. Like that you will feel the life in the sense of color. In the same way, there is an opportunity to align to nothingness. There is an opportunity to align to everything, all inclusive. There is an opportunity to align to complexity. There is an opportunity to align to simplicity. Like that your mind can be aligned to any spectrum in life. As you see, you can define it, you can express it, you can analyze it, you can develop a logic on it. So with one situation of life, you can develop hundreds of logics and reasons. It's like you can draw anything as per your mind. That's how the beauty or a completeness of life, meaning it has a place for every expression. Here, when such is the situation, since my mind is conditioned due to many things, due to my own karma, due to my own past, uh, due to my own surrounding, surrounding education, culture, society, like 101 thing as conditioned my mind state. In this conditioning, by understanding what I can align wishfully. See, align wishfully in what sense I am speaking is, here there is an opportunity where you can align to any spectrum in life or you can take any position in life. But are you doing with awareness? With awareness, see if you want to go to ocean, you can go to ocean. If you want to step into a lake, it's possible. If you want to flow with the river, it's possible. If you want to swim in a pool, it's possible. Like that, you can align to any water body, but you will be in awareness, you will be aligning. In the same way, with awareness, you can align to any spectrum of life. So from where that awareness has to be developed? For that, we need to understand one basic thing. What is life? One, one of the basic things. Because certain basic things, if you understand, that will equip you to encounter life with awareness. When you encounter life with awareness, automatically it brings efficiency. 
so when you are efficient in life there will be no misunderstanding misjudgment or something which is the result of a complexity of the mind for this let's consider one of the basic things what we need to understand about life is why life is happening what is life in a way what is the meaning of life why we are living when you drip down to the basic of it why we are living and what is the meaning of this life the meaning of this life is everything in what sense the consciousness is manifesting every moment as nature every moment as whatever you are seeing that is the meaning of life there is no uh, a special thing that you will understand something then you will be able to no life no knowing life is not about a target or it's not about a confined thing or a finite thing by knowing it you can claim i know life see you one uh, ironical thing what you need to understand about life is the irony of life is once you claim to understand it loses its meaning or it once to say specifically if something becomes finite it loses its meaning whatever may be when it comes to the what is finite what comes to the definition of your mind what comes to a conclusion in your perception all this brings a finite a limitation so whatever the limit of oh, what next what next what next is like when you are uh, trekking to a mountain on the way you are climbing small hills small hills so once after climbing the small hill another hill appears another hill appears what next what next if you look at the human psychology it's always oriented towards what next what next is a tendency because once you know it once know in the sense once a limitation is felt you want to cross over it so that loses its meaning that loses its a uh, meaning in the sense in what sense i am uh, trying to indicate is it fails to provide the life effect it fails to provide the life effect see we need light effect to see something sun has to rise everywhere light should be there then we can see it is a light effect through which we see in the same way life effect a, a sense of living a sense of life that feeding should be there that life effect should be there then you will feel life through what are all the things you are feeling that life effect somebody will feel through food somebody will feel through gossiping somebody will feel through analyzing or developing some logics somebody will feel through by traveling that's why people when they are into traveling if they go to a place suppose if they are traveling for 10 days 15 days oh i finished i have seen all the place i have to see another place so i have to see the next place what next what next what next meaning when you are entering a new city it was new you want to explore it why you are having a tendency or willing to explore it is mainly because to check the boundaries to check what need to be known what need to be understand what need to be studied what need to be analyzed what need to be perceived like that each person approaches a situation in life from that angle 
once it's fulfilled either they wish to develop they wish to analyze they wish to do some coloring to it or they wish to move to something else again that which triggers life feeling as light brings the appearance of the world we need some life triggering agents to feel life so what this life triggering agents you are using it for just to check the boundaries of life if you go on living life like this you observe your own life journey boundary after boundary boundary after boundary like a, a mountaineering mountaineer climbs mountain after mountain mountain after mountain then they think they reach the peak then again one more mountain will be there somewhere far standing in the same way in life people like to struggle like to be difficult like to be in pain like to be in suffering because these are all becoming life nourishing elements that's why we need to understand when come to the meaning of life what is there here and now what's happening here and now what's expressed here and now that's all the life that's why in every tradition of yoga philosophy or any realized soul's expression they give so much importance for presence presence is life that's it wherever you are be there wherever you are completely be there wherever you are you are immensely there not worrying about the future or thinking about the past or carrying some fear some carrying some calculation carrying some expectation bringing your own weightage of your position nothing just as a totally totally free soul you are there in that moment and go for life so living in presence living in presence needs immense fearlessness living in presence needs total crossing over of all kinds of imprints total crossing over of thought process so like this in every way when you have crossed over you will be able to live in the presence that presence itself is meaning of life there is no special meaning of life wherever you will be carrying your life ahead in what sense i am telling is as long as you are in this planet having this body you will be experiencing a kind of presence that presence is life suppose through regular practice of yoga through regular sadhana if you can build an ability of carrying presence beyond body experience what presence happens which is a different dimension of presence different quality of presence that presence itself is life there in presence of body experience what presence you are feeling in absence of body experiences and in presence of pure consciousness what presence you are feeling like that the life journey goes on goes on uh, it is a eternal journey if the body is there then birth is there death is there with every birth as per that birth as per that situation as per that surrounding as per that karmic imprint that presence is created once you die again you reborn again another presence so having this body journey keeps on bringing one variety of presence meaning one variety of presence where pain is there suffering is there 
uh, there is a compulsion to have sense perception is there there is up and downs there is a consequence there is a possibility of getting conditioned in the mind uh, there is a necessary to think there is a necessary to struggle there is a necessary to think about the future so all these are basic essence of life what you are living having the quality of the presence due to the body baggage that's why while practicing posture to remove body baggage is very important see when patanjali brings sthiram sukham stable and comfort that is a very revolutionary statement when something is stable that indicates removal of the baggage meaning if you can be still for quite long what it indicates you don't carry it if you carry a weight how long you can carry that depends on the weight suppose if you are carrying 1 kg you can carry for some time 2 10 kg if somebody makes you to carry 50 kg you can carry maybe for 5 seconds how much weight you have so long you can carry if somebody asks you to carry 1000 kg 1 ton you can't carry even for a single second you you yourself will be crushed you are crushed by your own weight your own body is creating weight that's why people die meaning your own weight is bringing you tiredness bringing you aging bringing you suffering bringing you disease that's why balance is there that's why weightlessness is there that's why stillness is there that's why comfort is there sthiram sukham all these <coughs> concepts are there to bring ananta samapatti bhyam to bring the infinite merging that's why we practice posture posture is not practiced just to pull the body with some ropes or bricks all props used are sickness in the practice of posture it's an evil that has to be removed from the system of practice of yoga if at all if you are using props it's only for therapy if you have some disease to remove it you use the props for some time it's fine but regularly if you are using props to practice posture you will lose a beautiful chance to experience the life as life because props takes away the stability of the body you check in the whole planet who ever using the props they can't keep their body stable is open challenge if somebody can prove they can keep their body still for 2 hours i use regularly props impossible for them even to keep the body still even for 30 minutes i have seen thousands of students all over the planet they struggle a lot because using of the props mainly brings like a non correlated stretch non correlated stretch means Uh, our body is not a rubber piece like uh, you hold a rope and pull the hands you hang your legs and you pull and you hold a brick and stretch so it's a non correlative stretch non correlative stretch means you will be ending up stretching individual body part not having a central correlated expression meaning the alignment of the stretch happening throughout the body is not happening with the central theme of extended stretch that should happen with all inclusive body system so then due to this your physiological system is varied your endocrine system is varied so imbalances is created outside you may be appearing perfectly fine you may be able to bring your forehead to the knee all these things should happen 
with the correlation of the central program or else within the central program you will end up developing a separate programs that separate program is disease centralized strong program is health that's why who are all using the probes today or tomorrow they will have some issues with the body you can check with anyone on this planet either they can sit sadhana or achieving something spiritually is out of reach if you constantly using probes and doing the practice for quite long you lose the journey other than that you will have one or the other health issues even it happened to uh, the propagator of who brought all these uh, uh, probes even he suffered i don't want to bring the name it's not about uh, any personal thing but he also suffered a lot with his body yet innocently people are doing it if you are doing it for therapy for some time it's perfectly fine so see the link when you are practicing posture in what way you have to bring the stability of the body in what way you have to bring the balance in what way that correlated stretch which originates from the central of the body involving each and every unit of the body to keep the oneness of the functioning from there you come to stillness from that stillness you cross over the body based experience life you are able to drop your own body so when you are able to drop your own body you don't carry your own body when you are not carrying your own body you can stay still for hours and hours if you carry something there is a limit so that's what i meant here on one end mind has constantly oriented in life life after life after life to establish the boundaries where ananta samapatti bhyam of patanjali is to break the boundaries this establishing of the boundaries can be seen in every attitude of human being people want to eat till their belly is full how many times you say to people like uh, eating 50% of the belly is good how many are able to follow the moment if they see a tasty food they want to eat full the moment they have some time to travel they want to travel to every nook and corner of the world because they want to set the boundary yeah, i have seen it what next what next what next so this this is one direction of the journey when it comes to the spiritual dimension of life is not about any boundaries it's about pure presence it's about what is manifesting here and now see many times what happens people have a very no, wrong notion notion means i think you know that word notion means a wrong idea or a concept about life what is the wrong concept about life is i will make my life i will create my life or oh, is my life i will create my presence no it appears like that on one level when you are perceiving it appears from one angle ah yes uh, i was here i went to a restaurant so i can make a choice either to be in the home or to be in the restaurant uh, so i went to a restaurant i have a different presence i went to a mountain i have a different presence so on one angle it appears i am the responsible for my own presence actually it's uh, 0.0001% it is uh, just to give a kind of meaning to you uh, like uh, in what sense i am telling is if a kid is there in your home you know eating chocolate is not good uh, what happens some guest comes to your home they will present you some chocolate to your home that kid has seen the chocolate so then it is crying rolling on the ground 
so you also want to satisfy the kids feeling also okay there is a 10 chocolate you give one chocolate to kid okay even though uh, like a just a fulfilling attitude even though you don't like to give the chocolate even though sugar is not good even though it's not bringing a, a good effect for the child just you want to give a chocolate just for uh, encouraging the presence of child normally even people have a psychology that oh if all the demands of the child is rejected that is not good that's why parents comes to the conclusion oh once in a while uh, it's okay to give chocolate in india especially parents also make some compromise oh uh, once in a week they eat pani puri har churmari uh, har pizza or whatever because they see all other children are eating oh they think oh if my child is not eating it it is missing something so my should my child should not miss something also at the same time it should not corrupt also that's why you don't prefer to give regular once in a while something bad is okay so in the same way it's a, a fulfilling the demand of child's presence in the same way people will be fulfilling their demand of their own presence see whatever is living it has its own demand huh? even a bird has a demand even a tiger has a demand deer has a demand even you also have a demand demand in the sense that's what i mean like uh, to give the sense of living if nothing is in your hand oh it's a very terrifying thing the moment you know oh nothing is there in my hand then you are dead you are all living because there is a a concept or a guiding principle behind our oh, something is there in my hand actually if you see yoga the samadhi the last state of yoga is uh, practical like a real death you are dead you are dead for all such kind of boundaries all such kind of uh, trying to feel life through something else and like a kid like thing the play as a, how a kid ah, i want this chocolate then so then only i can feel my life no once you reach samadhi you don't want anything to fulfill your life if it happens it's okay to you you are not conditioned you are pure soul and you will not have a demand like a kid meaning why you will not have demand because through a demand fulfilling attitude you will not be feeling life in in that depth you are free but yet as long as you are living on this planet some things will be there outside which naturally happens in your path you will be going on embracing it unconditionally so this is a, a very deep dimension of life happens to a yogi who has entered the state of samadhi here once again in which direction you would like to move in life in that direction life unfolds for a kid the meaning of life is by getting the chocolate meaning from the kid's view from the kid's angle the moment it has the chocolate its life is triggered yes i got the chocolate i live life in the same way an adult i can go to a restaurant i can go to a mountain i can talk to a person i can be with a person that's why life is there for me meaning a demand is there ability or an opportunity to fulfill becomes the measurement of the quality of life is very natural because the journey is body oriented so everything is body oriented your whole life perception expression understanding analysis looking at a situation everything you give too much importance for body actually body is nothing and nothing and nothing he is a very tiny minute drop of a ocean but the whole analysis whole weaving whole vision of life will be happening based on body experiences but when you are practicing posture the intention of practicing posture is 
to align the body so that body is not generating body experience. When body is not generating body experience, you will be able to stay long in one position. You have to understand one thing in life. Whatever generating an experience in you, it will be an issue for you. Whatever generating an experience to you, meaning uh, suppose for example you are with a person. If that person is talking too much, over talking, he is creating an experience in you. It becomes a disturbance. If somebody is talking too much, you want to run away, you want to escape. Even sometimes if that person is walking from that tent, he will escape from <laughs> another corner of the road. Because you don't want to be in the situation where you are made to experience talkativeness of that person. A person who is mild in talking, little talking, yet that person is creating that experience in you because you will not be annoyed by a person who is not talking to you because you want to hear, you want that experience. That's why you are not disturbed by a person who is having a normal talk, not too much talkative. But if a person is totally silence inside to the deeper level, next to that person, whatever you talk, it is a disturbance for that person. Many times it happens to me in my life journey, I tell, please don't talk, I don't want to listen. No, you have to listen to me. <laughs> Normally, every word is a disturbance because nothing need to be expressed through words, nothing need to be pursued. That necessity is not there. You are there, your presence is enough. It's a pure silence, perfect. Next to that person, any experience you are trying to create is a disturbance for that person. That's how what is a disturbance depends on where you stand. If you stand in absolute silence, every word is a disturbance. If you stand, oh, I, if I am not talking to someone, I feel alone or somebody has to talk to me, oh, then, okay. Or else you like to listen to talking, then you go in search for people to talk. In the same way, every weekend people go to music parties. Why? They want that noise in a sense. Because they want to hear. They want to feel fulfilled by having something. It all depends on the range where you wish to position your self-expression. And every possibility is there. And one thing what you need to understand is whatever is creating an experience in you, in the end it's a disturbance. There is a difference between what creates a presence, what creates an experience. That depends on you. A mountain can create an experience, a mountain can create a presence. Suppose you went to a mountain, oh it's so beautiful, oh it's so big so large. Why it is big? Because you are small. Since you are five and a half or six feet, mountain is like 20,000 feet, 25,000, 32,000 feet height. Oh, it's so big. Since you are small, it's big. Since you are uh, not having beauty in everything, exclusive beauty is there in it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's creating an experience. Once you reach a sthiti pragnatva, meaning equanimity of the mind state, by proper journey, proper journey means if you are able to find beauty in everything, if you are able to find love and affection completely with every bit of life expression, if you are able to find peace in everything. So when you are 
एबल टू मेक ए जीन्यूनली योगिक वे ऑफ लाइफ एक्सप्रेशन देन इट्स ए टोटली डिफरेंट क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ वेर यू विल जस्ट एंटरिंग प्रेजेंस इन एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ लाइफ विथ एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज ए प्रेजेंस एज इट इज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज इट इज यू डोंट वॉन्ट एनीथिंग टू बी डिफरेंट एज इट इज इज ओके दट इज द सिंप्लिसिटी हियर इफ यू विश टू have a complexity you need to rearrange in this creation people feel contented are happy by rearranging the things or else things can be as it is and you are happy many times you can see in the home also uh, many people they don't uh, feel happy or satisfied or contented if the things are as it is see for example here if it is a table it should be here today or tomorrow right side day after tomorrow here so they keep on rearranging thinking that a new look they are able to give so new look what is new look new experience so what is new experience a kind of demand what is fulfilled in you it's a journey so that's how just you need to be aware so here i am not here to tell something is right something is wrong something is good something is bad no life is not about judging branding anything any situation any person we are not here to judge anyone we are not here to brand anyone because every situation unfolds in its own serenity in its own fact in its own depth in its own harmony later stage analyzing logic reasoning all those things we bring that's why in life once you understand this science you will be entering each and every moment of life with awareness that awareness leaves the things as it is because you don't have a special necessary to experience something and then to be fulfilled no if it happens happens if it for any happening you will not have fear also or for not happening you don't have demand just like a how a river flows you just flow and you will finish your life is a very steady even flow not bothered not worried by anything uh, tomorrow yesterday nothing just as a pure expression of joy celebration energy the life should flow like that so that contentment what brings in life that will take you to your life to the next level or else constantly you will be bound by developing a mind state with the body experience then you are limited in life if you are practicing yoga the first and foremost thing indicated is expansion of your presence beyond boundaries expansion expansion of your life beyond limitation of birth and death when such a evolutionary process happens then you are gifted then a a flip a turn happens in your life then there is no uh, looking back then everything appears just as a leela or a game uh, just a mere something is happening let it happen so you are not uh, disturbed or worried by any such thing that is vairagya that's why patanjali brings the concept of abhyasa and vairagya 
what vairagya brings pure presence unaffected presence so in this true sense if you are flowing in life that life is successful life or else what is life just you eat you walk you talk you do all the normal things one day you vanish you look at the person who are all already vanished as though they never existed see the irony of life as long as you are living it appears you are so important you are so big uh, life is so immense just if you look at the persons who are vanished after one year two year three year if you look at as though they didn't existed it is they are gone and uh, generation after generation generation after generation this keeps on happening appearing vanishing appearing vanishing like a, a drops of water when it rains how many times it has rained how many millions of drops has fallen on this planet how many drops are vanished like that human life and drop of a water <laughs> there is no much difference in that angle it vanishes if you consider the vanishing journey if you consider the body journey if you consider the birth and death journey is coming and vanishing coming and vanish appearing and vanishing appearing and vanishing why we practice yoga is not to constantly to be in this boundary there is something special in life that is the tastiness of life see if you want to carry if you want to take in life take something which comes with you forever even if somebody gives to a palace you have to leave it where on the path of vanishing you can't carry even one single penny with you in the whole palace you will not be able to carry even a single brick out of the palace when you finish the journey and that vanishing happens any moment any time and it keeps on happening so once you understand this life is immensely having its own value from the angle of time and energy constantly you should value this and the opportunity what you have the greatest opportunity what you will have in life is if you have a chance to get something which stays with you forever life after life have it anything else you have which will be lost in time there is really it's not having in that sense you can't have anything in that in in one way even the richest person of this planet they they may be able to buy anything but they can't have anything they can possess which you can have which comes forever and ever in your life journey if such an opportunity is there to get such a thing which can stay with you forever that is the most precious opportunity in life for any reason don't miss it that's all i can say for any reason don't miss it if you can get something which can stay with you forever go for it or else if you are running in day to day life with the minds of the people with the situation of life of course whatever the situation is there in your life solve it and evolve through it and don't try to stick to the situation of life due to whatever the reason due to whatever the boundary fixed in your mind due to Uh, whatever the thought generated in your mind you want to fulfill it so if you are moving in that direction you miss a, a golden opportunity because 
an opportunity to get something what you can have which you can carry forever it appears once in after thousands of lives if it is missed is missed forever every day in your practice this should be the commitment you are practicing posture not to bring your forehead to the knee you are practicing posture to have a thing which you can carry forever you are trying to get something which stays with you forever you are meditating in life to align to that consciousness which constantly is with you instead of taking that journey if you are taking the journey in another direction towards fixing the boundaries towards creating a demand and trying to fulfill it towards the pain and suffering towards building an identity towards nourishing a conditioning so then it's a different direction both possibilities is there so there is nothing right and wrong nothing ah huh? it's not about it's your life your freedom just i am trying to give an awareness from what background you have to make a journey in life that's why in the beginning i call this satsang as journey of life life journey can happen to any direction is like when you are in the middle of the ocean in which direction you can swim you can swim to any direction north south east west north east south east south west like or 1 degree 2 degree or 0.5 degree any direction you can swim in the same way we are all living in the ocean of life you can swim to any direction you want you can swim towards suffering you can swim to the complexity you can swim to the simplicity you can swim to the boundary you can swim to the self you can swim to the eternity you can swim towards next birth you can swim to the poorness you can swim to the abundance like you can swim in any direction you want but swim with awareness swim swim with knowing where what i am doing not like a child not like a kid not like ignorance by taking some conditionings from some situations then you will be missing the life which is very 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 precious horals one of the droplets which evaporated we have seen how many droplets have evaporated in life how many people who born are already left life it's gone forever so in this small opportunity in this gift don't miss the journey that's why once there is an opportunity is there to carry a thing which is there with you forever and ever and ever don't miss it for any reason because that is the rarest thing in this creation and there is no guarantee it may happen again and again in your life again you may have to come over thousands of times whether it is happening through a person whether it is happening through any kind of journey don't miss it so that's all i wish to say about the life journey which was the topic of today's uh, satsang and even in your day to day life every day practice align to this dimension and especially when you are practicing posture through the practice of posture when you are positioning your body 
don't create a purpose don't create a boundary don't create a target don't create a time see don't create time means readiness to be still it's not like i have a watch oh constantly oh within this time i have to finish this series this vinyas of law this ashtanga that series primary series secondary series it's all mind game don't fall into any such mind game basically when you are practicing posture posture is practice to create the absence of time absence of time means create the presence of the mind see when mind is in pure presence absence of the time happens so you will be practicing posture to create the absence of the time absence of the time is indicated by stillness of the body because whichever moves it brings the time see symbolically we can see the clock is moving what is time click 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 tick 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 what is tick tick normally we tell no we indicate time by tick tick meaning moving when movement stops time stops you have to stop the time by stopping the movement stopping the movement means you have to stop the movement of the body meaning create the stillness stillness is abundance there is no end that is why effortless tatha dandvandvana bighataha prayatna shaitilya cessation of the effort then duality is not there oneness is established when oneness is established who measures what where is the time time is due to the difference due to the difference time exists the more oneness if you are able to bring then you will be making a journey beyond the time towards that oneness you can move through the medium of stillness patanjali when he writes uh, yoga sutra is not like a joke and people make a ashtanga practice it's a funny thing what they do and they make fun of patanjali by keeping the name of ashtanga and making the movement one see one posture after the other no don't try to cheat patanjali by keeping the name drawing from patanjali posture practice means breaking the time concept breaking the time concept means breaking the experience stock past karma imprints conditionings see the link between posture practice and burning of the karmas sanskara sheshonya your sanskara has to go so in this direction when you are able to make your practice regularly then a true success will happen in your life where you will be able to move beyond the boundaries of mind conditioning beyond any sorts of limitation in life beyond an attitude that my life need to be measured by getting something or expecting some situation should be like this so no you will become a totally free soul embracing the presence with pure love and affection that energy expression builds prana so then in the dimension when you are practicing pranayama it gives a best results that is why patanjali brought pranayama after posture asana so i wish you all the best and happy time of regular practice and i wish you good luck from my heart to experience a true life journey which frees you from all sorts of pain suffering and brings what you can carry 
eternally beyond the end of this journey. Wish you all the best. Happy time. Thank you.